A lot of you asked me about the difference between physical and chemical sunscreen. So let's talk about that in today's episode. Welcome to the Uma Show. By now, all of you already know how essential it is to wear sunscreen daily. And that realization has thankfully led to a lot of women and men to protect their skin from the damages that come with sun exposure. Sunscreen is now the most integral part of morning skincare routine and I couldn't be happier for everyone who's doing their best to protect their skin. Now that everyone has realized the importance of sunscreens, another important question arises. What type of sunscreen should you be using? There's a lot of debate going on about physical and chemical sunscreens. So I've decided to help you choose the best sunscreen for your skin. Have you tried out face massage and face yoga? It's the perfect anti-aging therapy that tones, lifts and sculpts facial muscles. If practiced daily, it improves muscle tone in the face which sculpts and reduces aging signs like fine lines and sagging skin. As a certified holistic health coach certified in sculptural facelift technique and facial gua sha technique, I put together this holistic skin program that focuses on the practice of face massage and yoga. Over the course of this seven day live facelift program, you will learn a lot of things that will help you look youthful and feel great about yourself. So click the link below and check out my course and join right away. It's seven days course live for one hour every day, starting on the 27th of July till 2nd of August, 2020. Let's talk about physical sunscreens. Physical sunscreens get their name because they act as a physical barrier against the UV rays from the sun. The sunscreen acts as a shield and does not allow the UV rays to get into your skin and actually ends up deflecting them away from your skin. Physical sunscreens also are known as mineral sunscreen because of the active mineral ingredients that it contains. The two active mineral ingredients, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, are the only ingredients that have been labeled as safe by the FDA. Let's take a look at the pros and cons of physical sunscreens. So let's talk about pros first. Starting with the pros, physical sunscreens are broad spectrum. They can protect you from both UVA and UVB rays. Physical sunscreens instantly come into action. You don't have to wait for 50 to 30 minutes for it to start doing its work. Has the active ingredients that actually are approved safe by FDA. Because of the white layer that appears on the skin, it's really easy to tell if your sunscreen is coming off. If the skin doesn't get sweaty or wet, physical sunscreens last longer in the UV light exposure as compared to chemical sunscreens. Physical sunscreen is extremely suitable for those who have sensitive skin since it doesn't allow the heat to be absorbed. It's really beneficial for acne prone and oily skin since it does not clog the pores. It has a longer expiration date than chemical sunscreens. Now let's talk about the cons of physical sunscreens. The sticky white layer that usually accompanies almost every mineral sunscreen may not be appealing to some. You have to apply it frequently, especially if you're sweating because it can rub off. A thin layer won't do. For physical sunscreen to work effectively, you have to apply it properly all over your face and body. Now let's talk about chemical sunscreens. Chemical sunscreens can also be called organic sunscreens because they contain organic chemicals that absorb the UV rays and convert them into heat, which is then released. Most of the sunscreens found in the pharmacies are usually chemical sunscreens. Many people avoid chemical sunscreens fearing that it might penetrate their skin 
but it should be noted that it's not the skin that absorbs the ray, but the chemical in the sunscreen themselves. So let's talk about the pros. Chemical sunscreens are more efficient when it comes to application. They are thin and elegant, which feels good to wear on the skin, especially when you're wearing makeup. You don't have to apply it generously. A small amount will go a long way. They don't feel sticky at all. Let's talk about the cons of chemical sunscreens. The most vital con I've learned about chemical sunscreens is that 12 out of 16 ingredients have not been labeled safe by the FDA. The most worrisome of all is oxybenzone. Oxybenzone has potential to disrupt hormone levels and may cause many diseases caused by hormonal imbalances. It is not only a risk of humans but is also harmful to the coral reefs in the ocean because it's not biodegradable. That's why it's banned in many places like Hawaii and Virgin Islands. Chemical sunscreens have been known to irritate the skin and eyes as well, which is not good for people with sensitive skin. It may even cause your brown spots to get worsened because of all the heat being made in the skin. Requires time ranging from 15 to 30 minutes to start doing its job after being applied. Chemical sunscreens are not as long-lasting as physical sunscreens. They have to be frequently applied throughout the day. Some chemical sunscreens may cause acne-prone skin to break out. It's not suitable for people with sensitive skin, and the higher the formula of SPF, the worse irritation and redness can get from them. That's all from me about physical and chemical sunscreens. So now all of you know and can weigh the pros and cons according to your skin and choose the sunscreen best fit for your skin and your daily routine and lifestyle. And please don't forget to do a patch test before applying a new sunscreen on your face. Thankfully, there are so many brands available in both physical and chemical sunscreens for you to choose from. I hope this video helped you. I get a lot of questions about sunscreen on my social media and that's how I thought of doing this video. But if you want to know more about sunscreen, what is sunscreens all about, what are SPFs, how do you understand your sunscreen better, then I suggest and highly recommend my holistic skincare masterclass. So please go on my website and subscribe to my newsletter and go for all the details that's there for holistic skincare masterclass. And it's a course that can literally transform your skin. I've also recently launched another program called 7 Day Facelift and it's going to be live 7 day classes with me where I'm going to be teaching you face yoga and face massages to lift, sculpt and tone your face. So don't forget to join that. Go on my website for all the details. Sending you lots of love and health.